Every Christian is called to be holy, but are we really living in holiness? Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosangeli and as you guys saw in the title of today's video, I am going to be taking the example of the one and only Saint Monica of Hippo, aka the mother of Saint Augustine of Hippo. You guys know that for the month of Saint Augustine of Hippo, I did a video talking about his life and the worship dance ministry in which I belong to also did a worship dance. I'll leave the videos right here so you can check them out. Today I'm wearing white because on November 1st we celebrated the All Saints Feast and then the next day we remembered our loved ones who are in heaven. Well, did you know that this is the month of the holy souls in the purgatory? Let's take this month to upgrade our praying game by doing intercession prayers and novenas. By intercession, I mean to pray for these souls who haven't purified yet so that when they go to heaven, they can actually intercede for us like Saint Catalina of Siena said. In my next video, I'll talk a little bit more about this topic. Holiness is a trait every Christian has and what we are called to be. Someone who wants to glorify and make the Lord happy and in any way, someone who follows the commandments and lives a spiritual communion with God with the purpose of earning eternal life. Saint Monica is a saint that I really look up to when it comes to praying, specifically intercession prayers. Her feast is celebrated on August 27, a day before the feast of her son, Saint Augustine of Hippo. And why do I look up to her so much? Because of her constant prayers for 30 years consecutively that led to one of the most dramatic conversions in church history, which was her son. Not only that, she also prayed for her husband Patricius. And it wasn't until his final moments of life that he decided to get baptized. She was born in 332, raised by a Catholic family, and got married relatively young. Since then, she had to stand a husband who would get drunk all the time, having distressing behaviors like infidelity, and didn't care about God. And her son was following the same steps. So what can we take from her? Patience. She had a long-suffering patience that made Patricia see the errors in his ways, which made him choose to be baptized a year before his death in 371. A year later, she had to suffer the decision of her son to join the Manichism sect when he was 20. She also suffered and cried when her son at age of 29 left her without even telling her prayers. The night her son left, she stayed crying, begging God for his conversion at a chapel. And as I said in my last video, the bishop Saint Ambrose actually told her that it is impossible that the son of many tears should perish. She was patient in her prayer. What would have happened if she gave up a long time before his conversion? Like what, what would have happened if she would have stopped praying? She followed the example of Christ. by accepting her husband and son the way they were, but still praying for them. She knew that what they were doing was wrong, but she, w she didn't kick them out of the house. She didn't tell them to leave. Like she accepted them, but always, always, always prayed. And I really, really admire her for that. Holiness was her purpose in life and ours too. We should live in holiness like Saint Monica because that way we can live an eternal Besides, God already sees us as saints, it doesn't matter the sin. And without holiness, we don't have daily communion with God, nor with the com
So, is the way to holiness a hard way? Jesus said, In other words, be willing to die to follow Jesus. Saint Therese of Child Jesus was the saint that I just up as for Holy Winds. In case you haven't checked my IG, go ahead and check it. Says that there is a little way to holiness. We can't see holiness as an impossible thing. Like we're just wishing that we want to be holy. Like that's that's a lot. We shouldn't fear holiness and we shouldn't fear trying to live a holy life here on earth because of what other people think. We may sin, but his mercy is way, way bigger. A whole nother level. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and click on the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I always leave them in the screen. And comment because I absolutely love reading the comments. Like, you guys are so, so nice. And share this video if you think someone else will be interested in it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Of the holy souls in the purgatory. Pur purgatory. In the purgatory. In the purgatory. Uh.